Hello everyone, in this episode I'm going to talk about how we can write extension methods to add services in our Blazor application. Let's first understand what I'm talking about, right? To add services that we need for our client project, we use program.cs and in program.cs we use builder.services to add services that we need for our application. Now, instead of writing logic to add services in client project, what we're going to do is we are going to create an extension method in our shared project, which is a class library, and write logic to add services here. And this library is referring to client project. So we can call this extension method from the client project to add services that we need for our client project. Now, why are we doing this? In next couple of episodes, I'm going to try and port Blazing Chat to Blazor Mavi project. And I don't want to write duplicate code in my Blazor Vasm project and Blazor Mavi project. I want to move as much as code that I've written in my Blazor Vasm project to commonplace so that I could use that code for my Blazor Mavi project. So let's get started. For that, I'm gonna go to my Visual Studio and in here, I'm gonna go to my program.cs and this is where we are writing logic to add services for our application. It's always nice to categorize your services so that you know what all services that you actually need for your project. Here I've categorized them, like this is where I need Blazor services, this is where I need authentication related services, this is where I'm configuring my HTTP clients, this is where I'm adding, my HTTP client, and this is where I'm configuring my logging for the application. Now, before we move this logic to our shared project, you need to make sure that the classes that you use for adding services, those are already moved to shared project. And like I said, shared project is referring to client project. That means even if you add these classes to shared project, you know, you're not gonna get any compile time errors. So I have already moved these classes. You can see this custom authentication state provider I've already moved to shared project. Even the view models I've moved to shared project so that I don't get errors when I add these services from my shared project. Also, I have moved the package references that I need for my client. I've already moved them to my shared project so that those errors are not gonna come later on. Now let's go ahead and create an extension method that is going to add these services. For that, I'm gonna to go to my chat project and here I'm gonna add a class that I'm gonna call as service collection extension. And in this, class, I'm going to write an extension method. And this class is going to be public static. And the method that I'm going to create is going to be add blazing chat. And that is also going to be a static method, which returns our service collection. And the name of the extension method is going to be add blazing chat. We are going to bring in a namespace for i service collection. I'm going to hit control dot and add an using statement. And this method is going to take service collection as parameter so that it becomes a extension method. And I'm going to call it as services. And this method also going to take base address as parameter. So if you look at our program.cs, it's using this base address to configure our HTTP clients. And it's nice to pass that into our extension method. So I'm gonna pass that too, but then I'm gonna create a parameter that I'm gonna call as base address. And in here, we are going to write logic to add services. First, let's return these services so that I don't get any error. So this is the service that I'm returning so that I don't get that error. Now let's go ahead and cut this code. I'm going to select all these lines and cut it and put it in my 
method, this adding blazing chat method. Now this is going to start throwing errors. I'm going to save this file. And this is going to start throwing errors. Let's go ahead and fix these errors. So first of all, we don't have builder.services. We just have services here. So we need to replace this builder.services with the service. So I'm going to select this text and hit control H. And builder.service is going to get replaced with services. I'm going to hit replace all. This is going to replace the 18 occurrences which were there in the file. And now we don't have that error. But we have other errors, but those are just errors because we don't have namespaces added in this file. So let's go ahead and hit control dot and add these namespaces. And like I said, you know, you will get different errors depending on what all services that you are adding for your application. But, um, you know, for my application, I'm getting these errors. I've already added package references and the classes that I need for this services. So make sure that you are also doing that. I'm just adding namespaces here so that I don't get these errors. Awesome. So all these errors are gone now. And now we have this add blazing chat extension method that we can call from our client application. So I'm going to go to my program.cs here. And here I'm going to say builder.services.addblazingchat. And here I'm going to pass base address. And the only thing that I need to do is to add a using statement, which is going to detect this method. Now we have moved the logic to our extension method. Let's remove unnecessary using statements from here. And if you look at our project file too, it's pretty empty. It doesn't have any project references. And our service extension method has most of our code. Now let's go ahead and run the project and see if it works or not. For that, I'm gonna go to my PowerShell here, run my web API. And now I'm going to run my client project that is running. I'm going to go to my local host here and refresh my browser to check out if my application is working fine or not. And you can see that our application works just fine. It is not breaking at any, any link. It seems to be working fine. So this is how you can add an extension method to add services for your client project instead of writing that logic in the client project. As usual, the code is on GitHub. If you have any questions, you can post those questions in the comment section below, or you can reach out to me on my Twitter or Facebook handle. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.